Hello viewers, I'm Simon Preston and welcome to Reggae Boys Commentary. The match preview, Jamaica against Antigua and Barbuda in League B of the CONCACAF Nations League. So, Reggae Boys fans, what are your thoughts about the starting 11-4 hour game against Antigua and Barbuda? Quite crucial in the grand scheme of things. Six games in this group, home and away. The top team not only advances to League A of the Nations League next year, but also advances to the 2021 edition of the CONCACAF Gold Cup. If Jamaica finishes second in the group, they won't go to League A, but they'll have a second bite to the cherry in terms of qualifying for the CONCACAF Gold Cup. Anything lower than that, then pff, it's problems. Third in the group, we stay in League B for another cycle and no Gold Cup opportunity. And if we finish fourth, then Jamaica will be relegated to League C. Let's not even think about that. Starting 11, what is your prediction, Reggae Boys fans? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I think five of the 11 players are sure in terms of starting the game. The remaining six is a difficult one because of, in terms of the shape that Tapa may want to use, and also players that have impressed in training. So let's look at it this way. Andre Blake in goal. Damien Lowe and Adrian Mariapa, central defenders. Right back, Alvas Power, left back, Kemar Taxi Lawrence. The midfield is the trickiest part for me. Up front, Shamar Nicholson. Who will partner Shamar Nicholson up front? Deborah Orgill. That's five, six, seven. That's seven players. Now you're talking about the midfield four or the midfield three in some aspects. Peter Lee Vassell, Junior Flemings, Andre Lewis. Javon Watson, possibly, possibly, but then you have to look at other examples there, Devon Williams for an example, Leon Bailey has to get a start, so there are options, but who will make the cut, that is the next thing, Shivani Willis, Kevon Isaacs, Leon Bailey certainly, so there we have seven, where would you other three be, Peter Lee Vassell? Junior Flemings, Andre Lewis. This Antigua and Barbuda team, they have an issue centrally. They clog areas wide quite well, but centrally they give the opposition space and time on the ball. This is something that we can exploit. And someone like a Leon Bailey and other players can shoot from long range to test the goalkeeper. I think this is something that we can be able to maneuver quite well. They're player to keep an eye on, I have it as Vashami Allen, their central defender. Spoken to him a number of times, especially since 2016, since his emergence from the under-20 Antigua and Barbuda team that rose with the likes of Matthew Hall and company. I do think that he's going to add a different spark to the team. They don't have, you know, players that... They do have players that play their, play their trade in the Championship, League One, League Two, the conference as well. So from that perspective, they will be strong in the air. So they'll match up to us quite well in that aspect. But I think on the ground is where we can beat them because we do have players that technically can move the ball quickly. It's about utilizing those opportunities. And once that final ball is there, then I do believe we can get the victory. Bobby Reed, I expect to get perhaps half an hour as well in the game. Prediction, Jamaica 2, Antigua and Barbuda, nil. And let's not forget, three days later, the boys have to play against Guyana, the Golden Jaguars. Is it Golden Jaguars or just Jaguars? The Jaguars. So, that's something to look forward to as well. Reggae Boys fans, what are your thoughts in the comments below? Do you think that it'll be easy breezy in these first two games? Or will we have a struggle? I genuinely think that it's going to be a challenge to break down this Antigua and Barbuda team. I feel that. I don't see us or think that we can put six past them. Although we should, I don't think we will because of the lack of time that we've had together. Three training sessions I don't think is enough. Four, if you want to include parts of Monday as well. So. I don't think it's enough in terms of establishing the momentum. But who knows, you know, you 
you put away your chances and you really, really are in the ball game, you know? So, but I don't think it's gonna click just yet. Still, I think it's gonna take some time. So, Reggae Boys fans, let me know your thoughts in the comments below, your starting 11, and the prediction of the score of the game against the Benna Boys. Reggae Boys against the Benna Boys at the Montego Bay Sports Complex, 7 p.m. on Friday evening. And don't forget as well to subscribe to Reggae Boys commentary.